there is an epidemic in Africa right now, which is worse than cholera, which is worse than malaria, which is worse than HIV, which is even worse than Ebola. This epidemic is called religion. Religion has caused many problems in Africa. We see Muslims and Christians fighting each other. We see families falling apart because of religion. Siblings not talking to each other. Children not talking to their parents because a false prophet gave a false prophecy telling people that their mother is the cause of their downfall. And their mother wants to kill them. Your own mother who carried you in her womb, sacrificing literally everything to take care of you. If she wanted to kill you, she could have done that while you were still a fetus. But you believe a pastor more than your own mom who loves you unconditionally. I see people dying day after day because the pastor told them not to take their pills and that they should fast and pray and that everything will be okay. Meanwhile, this pastor takes his family to the best doctors in the country. I see people buying anointing oil, holy water, handbands and stickers for protection. Meanwhile, your pastor is walking with bodyguards, with full security in his home. I've seen poor people giving these fake pastors all the money they got and they'll go home empty-handed and hungry, starving themselves and their own children, while these so-called pastors drive in expensive cars and live in mansions. The Bible says, lack of knowledge, my people perish, and it is true. People are literally perishing because we've thrown away knowledge, wisdom, common sense, and understanding. We keep following these con artists, these tricksters, these false prophets like sheep to the slaughterhouse. People are doing dumb things, being physically and emotionally abused right in front of the congregation, and at times even on national TV. It's very appalling some of the things that these preachers ask their members to do. Some ask them to drink detergents, some kiss and touch their members sexually, some even go to the stand of butter slamming their members all in the name of healing and deliverance. It's about time people wise up and stop falling for this scam. Let's stop worshiping these so-called men of God and worship God Himself because Jesus came to die so that we may have a relationship with Him and now that we may have a relationship with Him through other people, He died so that we may become His friend. The Bible says Elijah was a man just like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. The same power that lived in Elijah is the same power that rose Jesus from the grave. And that same power lives in you and I. So stop moving from one pastor to the other, asking them to pray for you, asking them to deliver you, and pray over yourself. Pray over whatever situation that you're going through, and God will surely hear you. If only you have faith in Him, if only you trust and obey Him, nothing should stand in your way. Shalom. Hi there. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to receive videos from me each and every week, all you gotta do is to go to my Facebook page, that is Dr. Dennis Benzel. When you get there, click on like, and then click on follow. Don't forget to click on see first, else you won't see all my posts. Then go to my recent post, you will see a WhatsApp link there. Click on it, and then click on OK, voila, you are in. Just so you know, this group is not for chatting, this group is not for making friends. Only I and my team can comment or post in this group. And I make only one video content each week. So if you don't see anything in the group, just be patient. You will surely receive a video from me. Until then, see you next time. Shalom.